पूर्वे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय तलाय कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ताय नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयम धीर टुडे इज माय व्यास पूजा माय व्यास पूजा that is my duty to worship guru dev whole guru parampara krishna tatva shrimati radhika tatva mahaprabhu tatva gaur gadadhar tatva nityanand prabhu baladev prabhu and others so i did and there sapt panchakam where was it during i have seen the vyas puja of my guru dev i used to organize that also i have seen the vyas puja of param puja pad माधव भक्ति दैत माधव गोस्वामी महाराज भक्ति प्रमोद पुरी महाराज दे ऑल यूज टू वर्सिप देर गुरुदेव एंड देन गुरु परंपरा हो एंड देन राधा कृष्ण जुगल गौर नित्यानंद प्रभु गौर गदाधर एंड नौ इन पंचतत्व व्यास पंचक आचार्य पंचक उपास्य पंचक कृष्ण पंचक देर आर सेवेन पंचक a sanyasi in our line on their birthday they say worship like this also i have heard from my guru dev and seen that when after worshiping their guru parampara and all others when disciples worshiped him then he told with very dignity with great humility very humility that i am not independently qualified to take your offerings what is in me what is i am doing what is i am preaching only guru dev and parampara shall you today if any praise comes to me all are hearing my katha really this is not mine it is of my guru dev param guru dev guru parampara श्री रूपक स्वामी महाप्रभु एंड कृष्ण कृष्ण के उपदेश तो उद्धव उद्धव संदेश इन श्रीमद भागवतम इलेवन सो वल्ली आई एम रिपीटिंग दीज वर्ड्स लाइक ए पैरट आई एम नथ इफ आई एज नॉट preaching their words no when one have worshiped me and no one have so all worship and everything goes to my guru dev lotus feet and so this abhiman false ego should not come that i am a very big acharya it should not come it should not touch me 
not a smell should be in my heart. And I also tell you the sannyasis who are preaching on behalf of me. They should not have any false ego. What you are doing, only by Guru and Guru Parampara you are doing. So today I am offering my all these things that you are giving to me in my lotus feet of my Guru Dev. And he should give to Guru Parampara and to Radha Krishna Gaur Gadadhar Ayurveda. Gaur Pramanande. One thing more. In Vedanta Sutra, Srila Dev has quoted one sutra, Ananda Mayo Abhyasa. What is the meaning? Those who, who is Ananda Maya, full of pleasure. He is an embodiment of pleasure or Ananda. We are worshipping him, chanting him, remembering him, abhyasa, and all kinds of bhakti we are doing to him. Meaning is this. But we know that Shankaracharya, Ramanu, Madhva, Vishnu Swami, Nimbadit, all has written Bhashya of Brahma Sutra commentaries in their what opinion was. Shankaracharya on the Sutra Anandama Abhyasa, he said that everywhere in Upanishad, Veda, Anandam I am Brahma, not Anandam. Anandam Brahma. Hmm? Like this, so many in Upanishad. Brahma is Ananda. Brahma is Rasasvaru. Brahma, all these things. But also in Upanishad, it has been written Anandamaya and all of those things. But Shankaracharya, the avatar in incarnation of Shankar. Bhakta Sankar, Sadasiv, by the order of his master, who was preaching, Sarvam Khalu Itam Brahma, all are Brahma. Tatta Masi, you are same. Pragyanam Brahma, Jnani is Brahma. So many things. And he did a commentary of Anandamaya Abhyasa that uh, really Vyasadevi is Anagat Swat. Uh, means he was what? Did some mistake, he wrong. He was some ignorant. To Guru, he thinks that Vyasa is Guru, but he is telling that he is ignorant. And if he is doing puja of Vyasa, then this puja is not Vyasa puja. Understand what I told? What I told? Today not working any? Why?
take another one. <laughs> okay. Srila yeah. Gurudev is explaining that Shankaracharya, who is the incarnation of Lord Shiva, who appeared in this world and he preached the Mayavad philosophy, uh, his commentary on Vedanta Sutra of Srila Vyasadeva, uh, he was explaining the conception of Brahma, that the Absolute Truth is the Supreme Brahma. And Gurudev says in the commentary that Shankaracharya made on the verse in Vedanta Sutra, Anandamayo Abhyasat, there he made some criticism of Srila Vyasadeva. And he told that Srila Vyasadeva, who is actually his own guru, because Shankaracharya is worshipping Vyasadeva as his guru, but yet he is, has the uh, audacity to say that his guru has made some mistake. In other words, calling his guru ignorant. So, anyone worshipping his Gurudev, he should not be like Sankaracharya. <laughs> not that. I know my Gurudev is not knowing. He is ignorant. Then this will be what? Mahaparad. So we should be always careful. I have heard from my Gurudev this thing. And it is written in Brahma Sutra already. So, we should try to follow his verse that he is telling from his Gurudev and Guru Parampara. Do you want to speak something? If you want. You? So you should speak something. Prem Prayajan is here. He has gone. He can come. Eleven thirty-five. Eleven thirty-five. Eleven forty-five. Eleven forty-five. Om Agyana Timiran Dasya. Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshudun Militam Jena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristhaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swaminiti Namane Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharane <coughs> Nirvishesha Sanyavadi Pashtakcha Deshatarane Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Radhikayai Priyatmane Shri Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Narayaniti Namane Shri Krishna Leela Katane Sudaksham Audaurya Madhurya Gunaishtra Yuktam Varam Varenyam Purusham Mahantam Narayanam Tam Shirshanamami Sridandinam Bhakta Shiromanim Cha Shri Krishna Padabja Dritaika Hridi Chaitanya Leelam Rita Sarasaram Narayanam Tam Satatam Prapadye Vansha Kalpataru Bhyascha Kripa Sindhu Gaevacha Patitanam Bhavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar, Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare.
<clears throat> on this most blessed day, the Divine Appearance Day, Avir Bhav Maha Mahotsav Titi, of our beloved Guru Dev, Om Vishnupad, Ashto Tarasata Sri Srila, Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. I'm first of all offering my Dandavat Pranams at the lotus feet of my beloved Diksha Guru Dev. Nitilila Pravishto Om Vishnu Padasto Tarasata Sri Srila Bhakti Rakshak Sri Dhar Goswami Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Srila Prabhupada. And secondly to my Siksha Guru Devs Nitilila Pravishto Om Vishnu Padasto Tarasata Sri Srila Bhakti Rakshak Sri Dhar Goswami Maharaj and to the lotus feet of Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. To all of my Rupa Nuga Guru Varga and to all of the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis, friends and guests in this assembly. <clears throat> the appearance day of Sri Guru in this material world is the most blessed event for all of the suffering humanity and not just for the suffering humanity for all living beings within this material world Sri Guru descends into this world uh, to carry out the order of the Supreme Personality of Godhead Sri Krishna who is the father of all living beings. Every living being is an eternal servant of the Supreme Absolute Truth, Bhagavan Sri Krishna. And in this material world, every living being has forgotten that relationship with their eternal master, their eternal father, their eternal friend. And they are suffering in this material world out of ignorance, out of avidya. They do not have knowledge of their relationship with the Supreme Lord. And therefore they go on struggling against this material existence, birth after birth, lifetime after lifetime, suffering the pangs of repeated birth, death, disease and old age. So every living being is suffering in this way without any hope, without any possibility of being released from this horrible condition of life. So, because Sri Krishna is supremely merciful, Parama Karunya. He has uh, eternal love for every one of his parts and parcels, his amshas within this world. Therefore, he makes the arrangement by his causeless mercy that he sends his divine representative to this world to perform the function of releasing the conditioned souls from this bondage, of freeing them from the prison house of this material world, and introducing them to their eternal relationship with the Supreme Lord. That function that Sri Guru performs is actually the function of Krishna Himself. Therefore, in Srimad Bhagavatam, 11th Canto, in the Uddhava Gita, where Bhagavan Sri Krishna is instructing Uddhava, he tells him, Acharyamam Vijaniyan, Navamanye Takarihichit, Namartya Buddhya Suyeta, Sarvadeva Mayo Guru. He tells to Uddhava, You should know that I am the Acharya. It is I who am coming in this world to perform this function of giving divine knowledge of myself to the conditioned souls. You should see 
Sri Acharya Dev, Sri Guru, you should see him in this way as a non-different manifestation of my very self. Sakshadharitvena, that he is directly a prakash, a manifestation of myself in this world for the purpose of giving mercy to all the jiva souls. Therefore, understanding him as such, Navamanyetakarhichit, you must never have any slight disrespect for him. Namartya buddhya suyeta. You should never think of him with martya buddhi, thinking that he is an ordinary mortal being of this world who has been forced to take birth in this world and to suffer just like all the others. And you should never have uh, suya. You should never have envy toward him. What should be your attitude? You should understand. Sarva Deva Mayo Guru. All the potencies of all the devas within this universe, they reside within the lotus feet of Sri Guru. Huh? And therefore, Sri Guru has the divine power of the Supreme Personality of Godhead Himself. He can sanction the delivery of any jiva soul, and He can personally introduce any jiva to the Supreme Lord Sri Krishna. So, to understand Guru Tattva, the truth of Guru, is to understand this, that He is none different than Krishna. When a disciple comes to the lotus feet of Guru and accepts Sri Guru as his shelter and surrenders, as Sri Krishna tells in Bhagavad Gita, Tadvidhi pranipatena pariprashnena sevaya upadekshantite jnanam jnaninas tattvadarshina Such tattvadarshi who sees the absolute truth, he can impart that knowledge to a jiva soul. But the jiva soul has to come before Guru and first of all perform pranipat, surrender. Now I am realizing that I am helpless in this world. And I fully accept that you are completely capable of delivering me, of giving me, placing me at the lotus feet of Krishna. Therefore I surrender at your lotus feet and I pray to you, please impart this divine knowledge. Pariprashna means with inquiring mood, I come before Guru and I take the words emanating from his lotus mouth as my very life and soul. And I fully surrender to his instruction. Whatever he imparts to me, I accept that on my head and with the best of my ability, I try to carry that out in my life and I perform seva to his lotus feet. What is the meaning of seva? It means service. But what is the meaning of that? It means what he wants, that is what I do. Not what I want to do, not what I select to do, but what he desires. What is his mano bishtam? What is his deep desire within his heart? I must detect that if I am real disciple, and I must serve that desire of Sri Guru. Once Srila Gurudev was with us in uh, Bali, Indonesia, on his Vyas Puja day, and he asked us the question, what are the three types of disciples? And after some attempts on our part, Srila Gurudev, he himself gave the answer. And he told that a third class disciple is someone who hears an instruction from Guru. He hears it with his ears, but he doesn't follow it. He doesn't regard that instruction. He is third class disciple. Second class disciple is a disciple who hears the instruction of Guru and understands what Guru desires. And he follows that instruction, he carries that out. First class disciple is a disciple who understands, even without Guru giving instruction, 
simply by understanding the heart of Guru and his internal desire, his manobishta, the disciple automatically goes and he carries this out on behalf of Guru. So Srila Gurudev told us that this is our duty. This is our duty to Sri Guru, it is our duty to Sri Krishna, and it is also the duty to our own soul. Because Sri Guru, if we surrender at his lotus feet, then he will impart this divine knowledge within our heart. Yasya prasada bhagavat prasado. Yasya prasada na katikutopi. By his prasad, by receiving his mercy, then we receive the mercy of Krishna. And without receiving the mercy of Guru, if we displease Guru, then we do not receive his mercy. And then na kati kutopi. It is not possible to detect which direction we will be going in our lives. No final destination can be attained without the mercy of Sri Guru. So on this blessed appearance day of my beloved Sikh Sri Guru Dev, Om Vishnu Pad, Sri Srimad Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, I am remembering the mercy that he has distributed, that I have seen in my own life, how he has lifted me out of the darkness of ignorance, complete attachment to sense gratification, completely wallowing in the, in the stool of the material world. And mercifully he dragged me by my Sika and brought me again to the lotus feet of my Guru Maharaj. And I have seen how he has done this for so many, so many thousands of Vaishnavas, how he has carried out the order of Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada, how he has saved the spiritual lives of so many of his disciples, so many of his followers. And what, what is he giving? How is he? working 24 hours daily to give this divine knowledge that has not been available to the whole world, east or west. He is working 24 hours daily to give these books of our Guru Varga, without which we will not be able to attain this ultimate goal of life that He is giving to us. This divine service to the lotus feet of Shimati Radharani, in Braja Vrindavan Dham, under the guidance of Sri Rupa Manjari. This final goal Srila Gurudev is making available to us, this inconceivable treasure. So we only have to cooperate with him. He wants that we will simply follow the principles given by our Guru Varga, Upadeshamrita, that we follow carefully in our lives that we carry out our bhajan life according to those directions, that we try to come to the platform of following Manasiksha of Raghunath Das Goswami in our life, and finally coming to the stage of Ruchi, Asakti, Bhav and Prem. Srila Gurudev is coming to deliver that great treasure to us. Simply we should cooperate with him, and in this way we will receive his causeless mercy. Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Bansha Kalpa Guru Gashtra Kripa Siddha Veda Chapati Tana Khavari Veda Dhamodar Maharaj, you should speak on Guru Tattva. Brief. Guru Vey Gaura Chandra Radhika Tadale Krishna Krishna Bhakta Tata Bhakta Namo Namaha. Guru Tattva is a very deep topic because, but difficult to understand. So Srimad Bhagavatam says, if we can understand Guru Tattva and become attached, then Moksha Dwarama Pavritam, then the gates of the spiritual world are wide open calling. Therefore the Supreme Lord would have praised Navai Payanti Apachitam Kavye Tevaisha Brahmanyu Swam Kedaram Ridi Smaranta Antas Bahi Tanubritam Shubham Vinasham Acharya Chaitas Vapasa Swagatam Vinaktam. Uddhav prayed, 
O Supreme Lord, even if I had a lifetime as long as Lord Brahma, I could not pop properly speak my indebtedness to you because you have four, appeared in two forms to take the conditioned souls back to the spiritual world. One is internal, one is external. The internal form, the internal Guru is Chaita Guru or Paramatma and the external form of that Paramatma is Sri Guru Padapadma. Therefore Gurudev is known as Asray Bhagawan. He is the form of the Supreme Lord which gives shelter to the devotees. Therefore he is called Asray Bhagawan. Also, he is the abode of the Supreme Lord. Where does Krishna rest? He rests in the heart of such a devotee. Therefore, he is known as Asray Bhagawan. Therefore, Guru Tattva means we are talking about the appearance of the spiritual master. Therefore, the spiritual master appears in this world. But if he does not appear in the hearts of the disciple, what is the benefit? Therefore, real Vyasa Puja, real appearance, that means the spiritual master should appear in my heart. That is called the real Vyasa Puja. Therefore, that life in which the spiritual master gives shelter to the disciple, that life is successful life. Therefore, we are not like the Mayavadis, the followers of Sankacharya. They worship Guru only till they become one with Guru. They become liberated. Then they have no need of the spiritual master. But our worship of the Guru is not like that. Our relationship with the spiritual master is an eternal relationship. Therefore, unlike the Mayavadis who want to become Guru, we simply want to become servants of the Guru. Chakudan Diloje Janme Janme Prabhu Se Divigyan Vide Pakasito. There we pray, birth after birth, he is my Lord. Until the disciple is not delivered from this world, the spiritual master appears again and again to, until the disciple goes back to Godhead. But even when he takes birth in the spiritual world, even there the spiritual master is still the Lord. He is still the shelter of the disciple. Therefore, Nitaya Charana Satya. Therefore, in this world, spiritual master is my only goal. He is my only shelter. He is my only protector, my only guardian. That is an eternal relationship. Therefore, the appearance of the Guru means that on this day, but Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur said, Vyasa Puja is not just one day a year. It's not one day a year we stick on the tilak, Jai Gurudev, Tumari, Jai Jai Ho. Every, he said every day should be Vyasa Puja. Every second, every moment, this is the real Vyasa Puja. That second where I forget the feet of Guru Pada Padma, that is that second where I lose everything. This living entity here is very weak, therefore he has no power to worship Radha Govinda. Therefore Radha Govinda come in the form of the spiritual master and the disciple takes shelter of the Guru. By taking shelter of the Guru, he achieves, the disciple achieves power or strength to worship Krishna. Therefore, Guru is considered to be non-different than Balaram. Balaramji, he is a Kanda Guru Tattva. He is the non-differentiated Guru. Therefore, my Guru, his Guru, your Guru, everyone's Guru manifests from that Balaram Prabhu. Therefore, by taking shelter of Balaram, we get strength. But by leaving the feet of Balaram or Guru, then we become weak and become easily captured by Maya. Therefore, I am praying this day, what benediction we should ask for Guru? Therefore, benediction is nothing. What do we want? We want only service. I remember one disciple came to see Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. He was 20 years in the movement. He came to his Gurudev and said, Gurudev, I have not achieved anything in 20 years. Then Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, he closed his eyes and said, very good, keep going. <laughs> Why have we come to the Guru? We have come here for service. And what benediction, what's what is the benediction of the Guru, then he will give us more service. Therefore, of course, I am not feeling like this, but I hope one day by following Vyasa Puja by the mercy of Gurudev, we can develop that mood of causeless devotional service to Gurudev and our parampara both after death. About Guru Tattva and disciples, Kartabya. Tumarandhasa Gyanandana Salakya Chakshu Anulitam Jena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namah 
गुरवे गौर चंद्राय राधिकले कृष्णा कृष्ण भुक्ताय तद्भक्ताय नमो नम फर्स्ट वो आफ माई सस्तंग दस धनवत पुष्पंजलि माई हॉट लाइक फ्लावर्स थाउजेंड ऑफ टाइम्स एट द लोट स्वीट ऑफ अस्मद परमराज जो मो गुरु पाद पदमा ओम विष्णु पाद स्तोत्र सत श्रीमद रूपानुगचारी वर्य भक्ति वेदांत नारायण गोस्वामी महाराज सेकेंडली एफ माई प्रणाम थाउजेंड ऑफ टाइम्स एट द लोट स्वीट ऑफ माई श्री गुरु परम्परा एंड आई एफ माई प्रणाम टू ऑल दिस वैष्णवस एंड वैष्णवीस so we have heard from uh, puja pad bhaktan tap pad manab maharaj how shri guru dev described uh, three levels of disciples the first second and third class disciples so i am in the third class of disciples and uh, so really i am not qualified to speak in the association and presence of so many second and first class disciples so i beg your forgiveness what little i have heard from shila gurudev i'll try to repeat for my own purification today is vyasa puja the worship of vyasa dev who is vyasa dev vyasa dev is the incarnation of shri bhagwan who manifest within this world shrimad bhagavatam He had written so many shastras but he was not satisfied his heart was not satisfied then his guru dev came shri narad rishi and instructed him and gave him a blessing after that by the blessing of his guru pad padma shri vyasa dev he went into trance bhakti yoga na manasi samya pranihite male apasya purusha punam me achata da pasrayam and in his trance he saw all the sweet pastimes of shri krishna going on in the spiritual world and on another side he saw the material world and in the material world he saw countless millions of jeevas moving eternally in the chain of birth and death and suffering and seeing the spiritual world on one side and all the jeevas suffering on the other he realized how all these jeevas will come out from the darkness of ignorance and be transferred to an eternal position in the beautiful eternal loving pastimes of sri krishna and what did he see what was the method that he discovered to transfer them from one place to another that is the bhagavad katha the katha of shrimad bhagavatam of the past times of shri krishna and he gave bhagavatam and instructed his uh, disciple shukadev goswami and in this way the bhagavatam is coming to us today so on vyasa puja we worship that personality who sits upon the seat of shri vyasa dev called the vyasa asan and delivers to us the very same message that Srila Vyasadeva realized by the mercy of Narad. He has seen all the sweet pastimes of Sri Krishna. And he also sees us, thousands of jeevas, suffering in the material world. And he gives the exact same message of the pastimes of Krishna of Srimad Bhagavatam. And thereby delivers those living entities from the material world and offers them at the lotus feet of radha and krishna so vyasa puja day is the day in which the representative of vyasa dev not only the day so one might think vyasa puja is a day when guru accepts worship of the disciple no vyasa puja is the day where sri guru the direct representative of vyasa dev teaches his disciples how to worship his entire prampara all the way up to vyasa dev and narad and brahma and to shri krishna because by serving and honoring 
and respect, giving respect to the representative of Vyasadeva. Only then will his message, the Qatar of Srimad Bhagavatam and the pastimes of Krishna enter into the heart and cleanse away all anartas. Srinvatam Swakata Krishna Punya Shravana Ketaya Hridyanta Stohya Bhadrani Vithunoti Surit Satam. So this is some conception of the meaning of Vyasa Puja. So our Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sadhari Thakur on his 50th birthday he gave a very wonderful lecture. He said, I am sitting on this big seat and I can hear what some are whispering in their hearts. They are saying, look at that. A veritable beast from the zoo. What a brute. Hmm? How can someone be so proud as to take a very high seat when many distinguished and respectable persons are seated upon the ground? Hmm? And how can he bear to listen to his own name uh, with so many hyperbolic adjectives added to it as well? This is terrible. Can anyone, can such a person ever be reclaimed from such brutishness? Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarvatakura, oh someone, they are, they are thinking in their heart. Hmm? He said, but I also pondered this. And I prayed to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And I said to him, Mahaprabhu, your teaching is, Tarnada Pisu Nichena. One should be more humble than a blade of grass. Hmm? In, to which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied, hmm? Yari Deka Tahi Kaha Krishna Upadesh, Amara Agyaya Guru Hana Tare Desh. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Wherever you go, wh whomever you meet, give them the message of Sri Krishna. In this way, become Guru and deliver all the people of this world. So Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sazari Thakur said, I have received this hmm, from this order from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, from, to, to my Guru and from my Guru to me. And therefore, I am uh, performing this service of spreading the message of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Guru is the very so humble to accept the difficulties and all the problems. Srila Gurudev in advanced age, flying here and there all over the world, undergoing so many difficulties, but not for himself. Srila Gurudev is, would be perfectly happy to be in Vrindavan, chant Harinam and absorbed in Asta Kaliya Lila all the time. What is he doing here? Traveling around the world. That is the order of his Guru Parapadma, his Guru Parapadma, the order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to deliver all the jivas of this world. So, Srila Raghunath Das Goswami Pad, he has glorified his Guru Dev. Mathurim Goshtavatim Radha Kundam Giribaram Aho Radhika Madhavasam Prapto Yasa Pratita Kripaya Sri Gurum Tam Nato Sri Siluragunath Dasko Swami Pad in his very old age at the end of his life at that time he remembered with gratitude all the things that his Gurudev gave. His Gurudev means here Yadunanda Nacharya. Actually, Srila Raghunath Daska Swami ran away from home at the age of 17 and did not meet with his Gurudev again. But he understood that by the mercy of his Guru, what did he receive? Nama Shrestam, the best name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Amala Harinama Amiya Vilasa. Guru gives the disciple the best name, the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, wherein all the sweet pastimes of Radha Krishna are there. And not only that, Nama Shastam Manamapi Sachiputram. By the mercy of Gurudev, he said, I received the association of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Mahaprabhu Sri Chaitanya, Radha Krishna Nahiyanya. Radha Krishna combined together. Oh, and not only that, Sarupam, Sarup, the association of Sri Sarup Damada. What does that mean? The service of Radha and Krishna 
in the gun of Lalita Sakhi, but not only that, Sarupam Tasyagraj, Rupam Tasyagrajam Urupurim, also under the guidance of Srila Rupa Goswami, under the guidance of Sri Rupa Manjari. See, Radha Kundam, the place at the Radha Kund, at the foot of Giriraj Govardhan, and the desire in the heart to one day serve the lotus feet of Sri Radha Krishna eternally in these, their pastimes. So, I remember once I was in uh, San Diego, perhaps many of you were there in San Diego, and it was a morning lecture, and my name was on the schedule in those days, and I was supposed to give the morning lecture, and I sat down to give the lecture, and before lecture, Nama Shastam Manamapi Sachi and from another room, Srila Gurudev came running into the room. Hey, stop, don't tell. <laughs> Why? Because the last line, Prapto Yasya Pratita Kripaya Sri Gurum Tam Natosmi. Srila Raghunath Daska Swami saying, Prapto, I have attained all these things by the mercy of Guru. And Gurudev said, Have you attained all these things by the mercy of Guru? I said, No, Gurudev. I am not telling this prayer. I am repeating and thinking Raghunath Das Goswami is praying this prayer. Then Gurudev said, you have not attained all these things, so you should tell Oma Jnana Timarandasya. Yeah. <laughs> then afterwards Srila Gurudev told me, he said, oh, when I was young, once I was giving lecture, Nama Shastam Manab and my Gurudev Srila Bhakti Prakhan Kesha Maharaj came <laughs> in the room and told, hey, don't <laughs> So in this way, I offer my Shada Puspanjali at the Lotus Feet of Srila Gurudev and pray that he will continue to sprinkle his mercy upon me, that one day I will not be a third class disciple, but one day become first class disciple. <laughs> Gyananjana Salakaya Chakshur and Nitam Jaina Tasmai Shri Gurudev Namaha Gurudev has ordered me to speak just a few words I'm sure although you're enjoying Gurudev's darshan everyone's tired so I'll use that excuse to be brief uh, we've all been suffering in the material world since time immemorial Although we're very small, insignificant, uh, no larger than a one ten thousandth the size of the tip of a hair, our egos are so, so big. We're so important. We have so many important things to do. We have so many good ideas. And we're going around lifetime after lifetime. Uh, facing conflicts within ourselves and with all other living entities. How come they don't think I'm so important? Why don't they follow my good advice? Why don't they worship me like I know they should worship me? And someday after, <laughs> one day after many, 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 many lifetimes, we become frustrated. Uh, we become despondent. And we think, this false ego is not really working very well for me. This hope that I can become happy here is not really paying off. And we become desperate. And when we become very desperate, we call out. And we call out to what we know may be God, if he's there. Are you there? I remember doing that the same when I was a young boy. What is this all about? And I was walking down Massachusetts Avenue in Boston in school, saying to God, <clears throat> where are you? Where is the answer? And then somehow or another, someone came up to me and put a Bhagavad Gita as it is in my hand. Pra practically an hour later. <clears throat> 
So when we're lucky, Guru comes to us. We don't come to Guru. We're not doing anything of our own power. We have almost no power. Almost none, nothing. So small. But when we come close into the association of Sadhguru, when our lives are blessed by his association, our lives are taken from that dark place, that miserable, unhappy place, into a place of joy, into a place of light, into a place of hope and possibility. We hear about the things that we know we're longing for. <clears throat> Some months ago I gave a little talk and I was talking about the philosophy and this one lady who's a professor at Oxford, after I got done talking, she said, what you've said, I've always known, but I've never heard anybody say it. And I said, well, I've just repeated what my Holy Master has, get, has told me to repeat to people. Although I have no realization of it myself, I'm repeating it. So when we're lucky, when we're...